Right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our City Zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So we are back, gang, for a fresh episode of Tropical Wings, but this is actually an episode with a little bit of a difference. I've not built anything new. I've actually been going over old parts of the zoo and kind of refreshing them and repairing them and finishing them off, and it's actually been a lot of fun. And I'm actually going to be telling you what's going to be happening for quite a few episodes in the What's Happening Next section of this one. If you've missed last episode, it was a zoo tour, a really in-depth zoo tour, what I kind of talked about what we were going to crack on with in today's episode that's linked above in case you haven't seen it my friends feel free to go and check it out it's a really cool episode and it's a really unique way of looking at this project but my friends i have as the title suggests been rebuilding and refurbishing stuff so let's jump in and let me show you what i've been up to so here we are, we are at the entrance my friends and uh, I actually haven't touched this bit yet but I do plan on touching this bit and I'm going to talk to you about all of that in the kind of what's happening section of uh, this episode but uh, yeah a lot of this planting at the entrance is going to change but what I'm going to do is um, I've basically completely re rejigged the uh, flamingo habitat I actually think it looks really really cool now um, it had been on my list of things to do, but it was a bit of a glitch. I basically worked out what the glitch was. I had fence panels that were overlapping. Um, so there was, you know, basically the same fence panel had been put in the same place twice. And so there was obviously some like uh, Z fighting and whatever, and that was causing issues. Managed to fix all that though. And now I've been able to redo all of the flamingos. I've also been doing a lot of the foliage in the surrounding area. I'll show you that. I've also been doing some work to the back lot areas, foliage and all that sort of stuff as well. And I've even been doing work to the surrounding city, which is really interesting. And some of you might be thinking, why on earth are you doing that? But look, as far as I'm concerned, the city is as much a part of the zoo and this big project as the zoo is itself, gang. So first and foremost, um, you're going to see that uh, I've been putting in these little planters. These never used to be here. Um, and so I've kind of been putting in these little grassy verges and these planters and putting some trees along the road and I actually think it's kind of brought it to life a little bit. I've ripped out the old gate that was here and put in a new one. Um, it used to be uh, really ugly to be honest with you. I've been replacing all the signs with the smaller signs as well. I think they look a lot nicer so I've kind of been doing that as well. Got this sign in and I've also been making sure these lights and the distance is um, basically even between each light. Uh, I'm going to show you. I basically built up this little jig with a light in the middle and it just makes sure that I can space the lights properly, basically. Um, so yeah, I've been doing all of that. I've also redone these fences. Now, these fences here used to look like these fences here and we're actually using less pieces. There's no wood as well, so that's quite nice. So yeah, redid all of those and I've redone all of these um, gates as well. Um, I just felt like it needed doing. Basically, there's, there's one word in particular that I want to use with you and you're probably going to hear it a lot over the coming uh, episodes and that is delicate and the other one is refined and that's essentially what I need to do refine everything and make everything a bit more delicate things felt very chunky and clunky and because we're going for that kind of realm of realism with this zoo we need to start adding some stuff basically that helps with the realism and just redoing things like the fences and whatnot you know the, the project was started well over a year ago and some of the pieces we've got now we didn't have then so that's why I've started redoing bits so yeah we've redone those gates and then if we were to jump into the behind the scenes you're going to notice that I've been adding a lot of um, trees 
Um, the, I want to just say this back lot area is a work in progress. So I did the flamingos first and then I've started doing this and I've basically kind of, um, I've started here and I'm working my way back. Um, so it is a bit of a work in progress. So there are some bits that are not quite finished. Uh, but yeah, I've started adding more planters just so we can add a bit more greenery because this is just so, there's just so much concrete back here. You're going to see I've added loads of trees and loads of foliage in here uh, and, I, and I plan on redoing all of this foliage here as well so um yep i ripped out all of this plant in and i've put in this nice kind of like grassy verge which i just think looks a bunch more realistic and it looks really pretty as well done the same with these ripped out all the old plant in um and i've replaced it all um it's probably really difficult for you to notice how much i've actually changed because um, I haven't really prepared any before and afters, but if you were to go and jump back into the episode where I built all this, you'll see just how much has, uh, has really changed, gang, to be honest with you. Um, we've also kind of done all of these. All of this is different as well, all of the edges. And then what I have started doing as well is I've started putting these decals on the ground that represent dirt and dust and that sort of stuff. Now, it's very, very early stages in me doing this. I'm still playing around with it. Um... I've actually been watching a lot of Caesar's videos because Caesar uses a bunch of these and he always gets this really cool, like grubby look to his buildings. And so I've kind of been looking at the bits he uses and trying to use similar shades and whatnot uh, to try and achieve this. Um, but I'm going to be going around the whole zoo and adding loads of these because I've just, I, I trust me, there's a bit I'm going to show you in today's episode that looks unbelievable as a result of using these. Um, I've uh, yeah done all this planting like I was saying. Um, what I have done is I've uh, completely rejigged the roof on this building. Um, I really wanted to do that. So as you can see, we've got the. This is how we're doing the roof now, basically. This one's really cool as well because um, it actually trickles off and down. So we've redone all of that. Um, we've redone this as well. Rejigged the gutter in a little bit. Um, if I come round this way, you will see that uh, I've changed the ladder out as well on this. We put a new power box in here as well, switched out all the power boxes. I've put in these um, bits at the bottom. I really feel like they finish the buildings off. So like if you was to look at that building and then look at uh that building you can really see just how much that one little item just adds a really really nice bit of detail to be honest with you um i started doing the uh plaster on the inside of here as well um because i'm actually going to be filling all that out because we want to finish these buildings off because these are not finished i basically was like oh, i'm going to leave these till the end and yeah totally neglected them as you can see more planting um sorted over here uh, ripping ripping plants out like i'm redoing everything again more planting done there um if we were to come around this way the biggest change in this back lot is probably over here to be honest with you gang so i've ripped all that planting out as well now as you can see look all of these planters have all changed and then i've added a bunch of trees in with these new little planters so there's loads more trees back here now um i ripped out this one and i redid all the planting there added some more trees there added another bit there i just basically went in and really started changing it up i changed all the planting uh here as well um added a couple of planters to the back of the flamingos changed all the planting up behind the flamingos and in the surrounding area as you can see we changed all this planting up down here i just think it looks so much more realistic because it's just longer grasses it's grown out it looks really cool i've, I've basically nailed a concept and a look that i want to achieve around the whole zoo and i think in different areas of the zoo we will just complement those plants with some different ones and add stuff to it and my other thing is just like with the trees i've been trying to find a bunch of trees that are like dark green light green medium so there's this different shade that starts to come in and different shapes as well um because i was using the same trees it was like rinse and repeat and there are parts of the zoo that feel really repeat uh, repetitive um Yep, changed all this planting out, um, as you can see. I've left this, because I actually don't hate this that much. Um, it looks pretty good. I might change the materials that we've used on this, but for now, I'm just going to leave it. Um, 
I've been taking out all the old wheelbarrows because we've got these wheelbarrows now and just kind of adding them as detail. But yeah, there's a lot of plants here now behind here. Now what I did do is I changed this um, this cage back here, changed the door, uh, changed all the materials that are being used. I think it looks really nice. And then what I've done is I've been using those decals to create like dirt and whatnot that's coming in from the grass behind there. Um, and then I've done it like all the way basically along here and then up to here and I just uh, need to kind of continue it around there um, and uh, yeah I'm going to take you around there in a moment anyway but yeah I don't think there's too much else that I've done I've already shown you that I st I've made a start over here on the planting as you can see because I really want to kind of finish all that up um, and I need to change the trees up a little bit probably um, you're going to see I've added some trees and whatnot back here um and then if i come over here yeah i don't think i've got this far yet um i added in these planters because i just wanted to make sure that i had all my trees in place but yeah i haven't really got that far um for anything that i've done over there um bu -bu 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 -bu. i am going to redo all of the planting at the front of the zoo before i show you the flamingos i wanted to show you something else and i can't remember oh this is what it was this is what it was um you're going to notice all of the planters have all been changed out now um i am i'm i'm ripping all this out as well i'm coming away from that design i'm not a fan i've basically i've come up with a couple of concepts for planters and how i want them to look and i think they look a lot nicer than they did before uh and i'm going to show you them but this is an area that i worked quite hard on um during the course of this little kind of rejig and rebuild this is kind of like the planting i want to go with um with this foreground grass and some pl and flowers and stuff but with these heavy bushes and whatnot so it feels really like overgrown and really natural you're kind of getting a little sneaky peek at the uh flamingos there but um yeah you're gonna see like this is kind of the planting that we're going with now it just feels a lot more natural to be honest with you gang and i just need to go around the whole zoo and what i'm going to be doing over the next few episodes is just taking it bit by bit but what i have done we've always had this little beehive in here and it never made any sense but what i've done is a mixture of decals and that gravel i've kind of made this little path that kind of goes around there um and as you can see using the decals to like put cracks in the ground and dirty things up and whatnot and then in front of this I, uh, I changed all the signs out for smaller signs because they're just a bit more realistic. And then we had this little grassy verge here and I decided to add some overgrown grasses and I've put in this dirt and mud and whatnot. And it looks like the grass is kind of growing out onto the path. Um, I absolutely love it. I've added some cracks and little uh, plants coming out of the cracks. And then as you can see, it all kind of joins up here. Um, dirt all around the bottom of the bin and... I just love the way the decals really just, it's so satisfying the effect that they give the zoo. It feels like the zoo is like lived in basically and actually used. Um, more sign changes. As you can see, planters are changed up. Now, this is a big change. So these round planters were a lot smaller than this before. But what I've done now is made them a bit bigger and I've filled the inside with mulch and then put some plants and trees and I think they look so good. I think they look so, so good. And it's nice because you get this change up from this and then you get these that are a bit more kind of tidy and a bit more thought about. And as you can see, I've done another one there and um, got some really strategic benches in place, but it kind of made this area feel less... I don't know, like less, even though it is really open, it's made it feel less open. And I think the way we've kind of used the trees and this planting definitely makes things feel a lot more like enclosed and stuff. Um, and again, look, you can see the planting all done here. We've done it here. Finally got this sign in as well. Well, that's been a long time coming. Um, time to explore. But yeah, it's been a very long time coming, hasn't it? Uh, to get that in. Um... But yeah, we kind of put all this in. I'm going to be ripping all of this planting out. Trust me, gang, I am going in. But we're going to talk about all that in the what's happening next section. But yeah, more planting changes. I've got to finish this one off. As you can see, I kind of made a start on it. But it just looks a lot better, a lot more dense. And then I've actually started adding more um, to just 
get rid of this concrete look. It just, there's so much of it. And uh, it just doesn't look right. So, yeah, I've added another one of these here. And I just think it looks so good, this little change up in planters and whatnot. And then we're going to have wooden ones as well. And there's just going to be so much going on. So many different materials and whatnot. And, yeah, I just think things are looking fantastic at the moment um if i show you the entrance plaza as well we've done a bit of a change here where the planting is concerned so we've changed out these plants in these little planters um i moved that tree back there and i've put um bamboo in the planter instead um i think that just makes more sense to have the bamboo in there um i i'm probably going to come away from having trees in these planters i kind of feel like we need this one here and the one in the front but like any others i'm probably going to come away from that um as you can see i redid all the planting over here as well so this is just, i just love this look so i've left the edging here because i kind of feel like that's a theme for the entrance plaza and i think it makes a bit of sense because obviously we've got the the wall and whatnot over there um, so I'm leaving it for the plaza, but the minute we exit the plaza, then it's no more. And I've also come up with a new little design for the pathway that kind of changes up from path to path, which looks really good as well, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that planting is really good, isn't it? And there's a little path back here that I'd completely forgotten about because we've got this electric box that I put in there. And so again, I've done this design where we've just really used the decals quite heavy and it's all dusty and dirty and it goes all the way up and so the grass almost looks like it's kind of growing over and just looks so good it looks so much more realistic and end of the day that's what we're going for gang um but yeah so right the flamingos are basically what's coming up next again planting changes lots of planting changes planting changes over here as well also i've changed the um I've changed the uh, the canopies the brollies up over here and uh, i changed this little look as well because i wanted to actually be able to see the flamingos and you can from this seat now and i'm hoping that we're going to be able to do something similar from there might just move that tree over a little bit but yeah so that's all been changed and then i've done this design look at this now this is something i see a lot when we see these little grates these like water runoff grates and then you know that change from one path to another and we kind of get these little things in so yeah i've done that i uh, kind of created my own and I wanted a way to kind of go from one thing to another and it look a bit more realistic. And I really love the way that looks. And I've done it all the way along now. And I'm probably going to be doing that quite a bit around the zoo, to be honest with you, gang. Um, I think that it's a really, really good look and it's very realistic. And uh, yeah, it's just added a bit of detail, really. Um, so basically, let's flip this round, shall we? And let me show you our new Flamingo Hab and yeah that's probably a pretty good view for you guys to take a look it's changed a lot gang it really has changed a lot we've scaled down the building um we've added a lot more foliage we've changed up these little kind of um circles in the water these were meant to be like little kind of raised uh, areas for breeding and whatnot um we've changed up their feeder as well as you can see i've kind of added a load of rocks fake rocks and whatnot and um the planting's a bit heavier, but a bit more natural. I've graveled the bottom of the entire pool so that we could add more reeds and whatnot into the actual habitat. At the far end where our willow tree is, we've changed that wall up a little bit. We've actually got water spouts coming out of there now. We've kept some bamboo in there, but we've complemented it with some bushes and whatnot. And I just think... It looks amazing. Oh, and again, remember what I said about delicate and refined? Look how delicate that railing looks. That railing looks so much better than the railing that came before it. It really, really does. And I am over the moon with just how good this habitat looks. And I was so over the moon with how good it looks. I'm going to be doing a lot of work to everything else in the zoo, basically, before we start doing anything new. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But let me show you the new flamingo habitat. So first and foremost, the big thing is this wall is a big, big change. Oh, we just had plaster and some horrible kind of concrete bits on top. But now we've gone quite tasteful. I love this wall design, as you know. Anyway, I really love this piece. And we've just complemented it with this trim 
and um, you know covered the top. Um, more so the guest facing ones, the suits, the two central ones don't actually have the top finished off, but that's just because the planting's heavier and the guests don't really see it. Um, and then, as you can see, this new railing. Um, it's very similar to what we've got over near the cranes, basically. And I was, that was bit, the biggest bit that kind of inspired me, which is to just do something similar. We've changed out all the education boards, as you can see. So we've got different ones. We've got like these ones that actually have this really kind of cool design uh, on it. And then we have... Um, so we have some that are more like flamingo facts kind of like did you know kind of thing and just a slightly different look but i think they look so much more tasteful the size is a lot more realistic um the way i've achieved it is i've just used the main one and i've actually sunk the edge the normal education board down so that you still get the education gang if you want to try and do this yourself but yep yeah, i've um, i've got them they go all the way around basically and i think they look really cool um and then if we go around this way, you can see I've changed this planter out a little bit. Um, this used to be quite harsh, like it used to come at a triangle, but now really smooth the way it kind of curves around. The planting's a lot nicer, looks really, really good. Um, and then that comes around. And then again, the railing is, uh, is in over here as well. Um, as you can see, more kind of education stuff around here. Um, and then we keep going around this way more education this planter changed out big time really heavy at the back and then just some really nice like delicate uh grass kind of towards the front i was going to go really heavy with just like a massive bush over the whole thing but i quite like building high from the back and you know dropping it down low as you go to the the front um and then again more railings in that style uh over this side and again more education stuff um and uh, yeah, there you go. The uh, the wall kind of continues uh, all the way around and over here as well. And I really feel like the color combo is a really good one. Didn't feel like I'd repeated anything that we'd already had in the zoo. Last thing I wanted to do. Uh, and then as you can see, this wall has changed quite a bit. I've changed the planting up a little on the top. And um, and then you can see these like little water spouts that are coming out now, which I think are really, really good. And again, the planting really complements the area because... This kind of really continues. It went really high and dense into here. And uh, all the additions of all these new trees in the background as well um, really kind of feel, make it feel a lot more enclosed. This tree in particular, I, I added that kind of literally as I was finishing up and it just it closed all of this off and it felt really, really good. Um, and again, we've kind of got a tree here as well and this tree um, here. But yeah, it's looking really nice in my opinion. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, I added gravel all to the bottom. There are some bits where I was quite strategic, where the gravel doesn't continue, where there's like little um, grates and whatnot in the bottom, but the gravel kind of continues all the way over here as well. So we've been able to add more reeds and whatnot into the hab and go a bit denser with the planting. Um, it just, it's such a nice effect as well, the gravel under the water. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, a lot more like dense with the plants in this area. And then what I have done is I've just used the faux rocks um, around the uh, the filter feeder thing just to kind of make it feel a bit more natural. But I've left like a couple of openings so they can kind of walk through. And then again, these little circle parts, I've gone with the faux rocks and a mixture of plants, basically, just to make it feel a bit more realistic and a bit more kind of dense and whatnot. Um and it just feels like there's a couple of like little islands there now, which is really, really cool. Um, tried to keep the majority of the planting that was already here in it. I've, I did delete out one grass because it didn't really work. And then I just reworked it, basically. So as you can see, the majority of the plants that were here are still here. And then I just added some more, added some grasses um, and some flowers and whatnot. And yeah, I really feel like it turned out nice, like... There's a lot of like dirt and sand and whatnot, and then there's just these little grassy verges, but I quite like that. And then over here, it's a bit more dense because we come out into this corner and then we kind of carry on all over here. Some of the planting from on there has kind of all kind of fallen off over the edge. And then over here is the same, as you can see. Um, really, really kind of dense planting. And 
yeah, just really come out and looks beautiful. Really, really nice. And then as for the building, that's had a big rework. Um, it's actually slightly smaller now, um, not just in height, but actually in size. We bought this wall in a considerable amount. Um, where that is, is closer to where the building used to be. Um, so yeah, we bought that in a considerable amount. We really dropped the height of the building um, because it was way too high. Like if I take you inside now, you will see it feels a lot more realistic um, for the size of it. We've really changed up the staff quarters in this building. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, we've changed up that door at the back. It's a lot smaller now. Um, and that is literally just a, a little quick access door. There's no gate on the front. This is just an open barn area. Um, I see many, many zoos kind of do this. Um, and then again, we kind of had to rework all of the fencing because of the height of the building. We had to rework where all the cameras went and we reworked all the roof as well uh, on this building and on this building. It really did go through quite a drastic change, to be honest with you. Added a little window on it as well. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. Um, it doesn't need to be, you know, too crazy for the flamingos. And then our staff area... Um, looks a little something like this gang so we really changed it up inside it went with that concrete kind of wall fill instead now it is slightly smaller uh, we've actually reduced the size of this as well because it was just way too big before um, but yeah as you can see we kind of got all our storage and whatnot in here nice little wet area as well um, I've started adding decals in here look how good the decals look you know when you're trying to add muck and dirt and whatnot to your tiles and things it's just such a good look you know I, I watch Caesar do it so much and I, and I always think oh, I bet it takes so much time but once you find the right pieces and the right colors it's actually quite an easy thing to do and really does give your give your zoo something to be honest but yeah that's the staff quarters there basically and so yeah if we were to go out as you can see um Got me a little archer for the sizes. And then I've just added a bunch of junk back here. Um, and yeah, it's like, it's really, really come on. That new That's a new planter there, just so we could add a bit more um, at the back. And then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very different. Really different, to be honest with you. The way the building looks and the way the hab looks. But um, it needed it. It really, really needed it, um, the Flamingo Hab. It was the first habitat ever built in this project. And so it was only natural that it was going to feel quite old eventually. And for me, it really did feel very old. And I've given it a real major refresh there. And I think that we are on to something very special with this project. Right, gang, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the what's happening next uh, part of this episode. But essentially, I'm just going to use this to explain what is going to be happening over the coming weeks. Now, I am going to be putting out at least one episode of Tropical Wing Zoo a week, regardless of if things are finished. Because every episode is going to be somewhat of an update episode now, um, until I'm happy. Um, essentially, as you've seen, I've changed up the plant in. I'm really going with a different kind of look to the habitats. And and I feel like there's lots of stuff in this zoo that could really do with, you know, a, a really good kind of like touch up on the detail. I think that there's um, a real need to kind of age some stuff as well and add some grime and add some dirt and things like that to pathways and whatnot. Um, and so as a result, I'm probably going to be working my way around the zoo slowly and taking maybe one hab at a time or one backstage area at a time and adding more and finishing it off and, you know, really kind of getting this zoo exactly kind of where we want it. So what we've been working on or what I've been working on uh, this week was I've redone the flamingo habitat as you've just seen and I think that looks really really good now really really happy with the way that looks um, I've redone the majority of this bit of the plaza um, I just need to finish off that bit there I believe but everything else has been done I've got all that planting done um, I'm going to be ripping out all of these trees and all of these trees and completely redoing that and i'm going to be redoing that fence um, i've done all of this backstage and i've done um, a bit of this over here um, but the next thing to do is probably carry on in this direction and get all of this finished off um, before moving on to the next thing basically um, but what i'm essentially going to be doing is taking a small piece of the zoo at a time and redoing it um, 
some areas of the zoo don't need a lot of TLC. Some, you know, I, I had a couple of those planters where it's literally a case of just changing the plants up. Really, really simple. Didn't take me long at all. Um, but then there's other parts of the zoo that need a complete refresh, like the flamingo, for instance. Um, so next episode, what you can probably expect uh, by ways of the update is that the rest of this backstage will definitely be finished. Um, we are going to get all of that tied up. Um, I'm going to actually add uh, loads of items to this backstage as well. Um, you know, like loads of rubbish, maybe some vehicles um, in the car parking spaces just to make it look like it's actually used because um, it's such a kind of big area, really, and there's just never never really feels like there's a lot of activity uh in there we are going to update this building we're going to get this finished off i'm going to add some items and get that finished we're going to redo all of that planting we're going to redo all of this planting and finish this bit off um, and then we're going to finish and redo all of that planting and then on top of that to kind of go with next episode so there's something really cool to look forward to is that I'm probably going to get all of this planting done in and around the gardens we're not redoing that garden I'm, I was looking at it and I'm actually quite happy with it so I'm going to leave it but I am going to do all of the planting surrounding it and I'm also going to be um, ripping out all the planting in the cranes and I'm going to be rebuilding this little bit at the back, basically. And the cranes are going to get a bit of an upgrade, a bit like the flamingos did. Because um, I'm not happy with the plant in, in there. And I'm not really happy with their um, shelter either. I think that needs a bit of work. So the cranes are going to be next, gang. Now, what I'm going to say is that um, it will be weekly, but... You know, if, if if I get it done in a few days, it will go out in a few days. Um, I usually follow quite a strict schedule on the channel, but that's not going to be the case for the next few um, weeks or however long this takes. Um, as and when I've done an area, if I think I've done enough and I think it's really good and I want to show you it, there will be an episode made and it will go out on the channel. And that's essentially how it's going to go. I know this isn't for everyone. And I know some people might be thinking like, well, I don't want to see you redoing this that and the other but I just know there's some people that are really invested in this series as much as I am and they would probably really appreciate to see things get redone like this and it be tastefully done because it it shows you gang that even us guys and girls that are creating content are learning new things and we're improving and it's a good way to show you like don't get down on yourself longer you play the more you'll want to redo things and the more you'll learn and the nicer things will look and for me personally this this habitat now looks a hundred times better than it did before and it's one of the smartest decisions i made uh, to refresh it so i'm happy with it that's basically what's going to be coming next and then you know what i do want to say is you know once that's done i'll be moving on to the next area and then the next area and then the next area um and we are literally going to go through the whole zoo with a fine tooth comb and we are going to tidy everything up um, all of the planting is going to get redone the only area that probably isn't going to get touched is this area back here because this is probably the newest stuff i've been doing um there's probably a few little things that need doing back there but yeah probably not much uh, but everything else we are going to completely go over it and uh, give it a good look and see if there's anything that needs adding or finishing and go from there basically gang but you know i i just want this zoo to look the best it can look before we move on um because we've got massive plans so much to do i realize that doing this means that we're not cracking on with new things even with all the stuff we've got to do but you know this is my long-term project i've got other series and other projects coming to the channel very very soon they're going to be you know gap fillers while we're doing the big stuff in this and um you know there's there's planet zoo's not going anywhere on the channel and i just want to make the best zoo possible and so there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted for another episode of Tropical Wings Zoo. I realise that wasn't really anything brand new, but I think reworks and rebuilds are just as exciting as building brand new exhibits and brand new animals as well. And I'd been wanting to kind of do this for a while, and I just didn't really know how to showcase it. But I feel like potentially doing these shorter, you know, one-off episodes here and there, or for the next month or so, is a really good way to kind of show you, like... Um, the progression and the direction I want this suit to go in but yeah if you are new around here you've enjoyed today's episode um, 
feel free to drop me a subscribe on the channel it'd be really really appreciated drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and feel free as well to get involved in the comment section below i'm done and dusted though my friends have a good day until next time stay safe stay humble i'll see you all later